Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome to a new thing on my channel that I've never done before, and that is a little Q&A session. And I might have this be an ongoing thing if enough people, you know, get interested and send me more questions in the future. I asked you guys to send me stuff that you wanted to know the answers to, and I got a bunch of questions, mainly from like friends and people that know me and silly questions at this point, but that's fine. You have to start somewhere. Let's get this show on the road. But question one is from my friend Oliver, and he asked, how much do you fancy me? Well, Oliver, I must say you're quite a cutie and your jawline is actually really sick. It's like really pointy and I'm very jealous of it. You're a good egg with a nice face. Question two I liked a lot. This is from my friend Bethan and she asked, what's your plan for surviving the apocalypse? My first instinct is just to say like, sit in the corner and cry. Cause that's what I say would always happen. But I like to think that I'd actually like try and survive. I don't know like, how well it actually do because okay for example i wouldn't be very good at like running away from people a lot because i have asthma and it gets set off like literally after like a minute of running it's ridiculous little tangent here just to like show you guys how bad my asthma is i went on a school trip in like year 12 and we went to thorpe park and the rule was be back at the coaches by like a certain time it was like five o'clock or something and my friends and I was like five to five and we were like second in the queue for this last roller coaster. And we were like, fuck it. The roller coaster is only like, I don't know, a minute, you know, we can get on it and then run to, you know, back to the coach. And we did that. And I, we ran through the entirety of Thought Park and um, suffice to say, we got back to the coach and I just collapsed on the floor and couldn't breathe. And that was the one day I didn't have my fucking inhaler with me because I'm stupid. So my friends are all crowded like, what do we do? What do we do? One of my friends started flicking water into my face as if that was gonna help. But luckily I, there was somebody there who also suffers from asthma and she sat with me and calmed me down. So running, I wouldn't be very good at in the apocalypse, but I like to think that I'd be good at like scavenging and like finding places to live and like sneak. I'm small, so sneaking, I think I'd be good at. I wouldn't mind just having to hole up in a little place for a while with just like some food supplies and some blankets and stuff. That's kind of what I do now in my bedroom anyway. I think I'd be fine. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it will happen someday, who knows? Question three is from my friend Shane and he asked, why are you so cute? I don't know if I agree with that sentiment, but thank you very much. I guess I got it from my mama. I don't know. <laughs> but question four I like a lot and it's from my friend Adam. And he asked, what has been your favorite moment since figuring out you were trans? I mean, if we go back to like when I figured out I was non-binary, one of my favorite moments from that was getting to meet Alex and Jake because if I hadn't figured all that about myself, then I wouldn't have probably gone to that meetup and I wouldn't have met them. Um, but since figuring out I was a trans guy, I think one of my favorite moments has been being featured in that Buzzfeed video because it was so cool to be in such like a nice, positive, Thing. Yeah, I think that BuzzFeed video has definitely been a highlight and obviously is not something I would have gotten to do if I wasn't trans because it was about trans kids. So yeah, that was good. The next bunch of questions are from my friend Amy. She asked me them on Skype the other day. And the first one she asked was, why is Amy the best person on earth? She was saying it as a joke, but she is actually one of my best friends and I love her. And she's one of those people that like has been there for me through so much shit. Because we met midway through our first year at uni. And so we've known each other for like almost, well, like three years now, basically. She's a babe. She moved to Iceland and it's been like, I don't know, a year and a half maybe since she went and I'm still mad about it. She also asked, why does Amy pull such weird faces? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's one for you to answer yourself. She asked a serious one, which was favorite TV show i actually have three that have like occurred over a span of a very long like 10 years or something it began with glee i'm still a big fan of glee now and yeah glee was like the first like proper you know like show i like stan santana and britney like oh my babes and then it was skins again naomi and emily oh like changed my life they kind of happened at very similar times um glee, glee was slightly just before skins and then obviously the hundred with, you know, my tattoo and everything. That's, I feel like that one's not a surprise to anybody. Everybody knows that. This next question is a really cool one as well. It's from my friend Ray. And they asked, who would you want in your apocalypse crew, real or fictional? I want Lexa in my apocalypse crew <laughs> because she could just be my bodyguard and also my girlfriend. I also want Ricky from H2O because first of all, she's obviously the gayest. 
And second of all, she has her fire power, so she can like burn the fuck out of people. All of the mermaids, to be fair, because they all have different powers. So like Emma could be like freezing people and Cleo could just like make fucking tidal waves. I'm going with the OG3, by the way. We're ignoring like Mako mermaids and whatever the fuck else happened, because I don't even know what they were trying to do with that. So yeah, Lexa, the H2O mermaids. I mean, my sister in real life as an IRL person. Oh, I just said IRL, IRL. Ew. Yeah, I'd want my sister in my crew, not so much because she'd be helpful, but just because I'd want her with me. Although, I don't know, I feel like she could be scrappy sometimes, so I think she could, like, kick some zombie butt. I don't know why I'm assuming it's a zombie apocalypse, nobody said the word zombie. It could be a fucking hedgehog apocalypse, where only the hedgehogs survive. Who knows? I think I'd want someone funny in the crew as well, just to keep up morale on, like, really tough days. So, Kiki Palmer, I know I keep talking about her, but I fucking love her. I'm just waiting for the fucking siren. Do you mind? Ah, the soothing sounds of South Harrow. I mean, to be fair, I probably want Clark as well. Oh, and John Murphy, obviously, like ultimate survivor. I want all of my faves from the 100. I want the H2O mermaids, my sister, and Kiki Palmer. That's my core apocalypse squad. This next one's super cool as well. It's from my friend Evie, and she asked, has anything happened to you, or have you seen anything in the news that has restored your faith in humanity? I thought that was a really interesting question because I've literally never seen that in any kind of Q&A video before. Things that always make me happy, animal videos where they get rehabilitated or they get re-released into the wild or like they get rescued from like horrible situations and get lovely foster homes. And that always makes me feel a bit like maybe the world isn't so shit after all. Last question is from my friend Taylor and he asked, how excited are you to go gay clubbing with me next week? <laughs> I'm very excited. I haven't been to Soho in what seems like forever. It's probably only been like a month and a half maybe. But yeah, I fucking love Soho and I'm really excited and um, we're gonna get really drunk and it's gonna be great. But yeah, there you go. Kind of a new uh, video for you guys, something I haven't done before. If you guys have any other questions you want me to answer in future Q&As, I may do. Leave them in the comments, tweet me, put them on my Tumblr, Facebook me, Snapchat me, text me if you have my number, send me an owl, that'd be cool. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, it was really fun to make. I hope you're having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <coughs> wow, pardon me, I haven't even eaten yet, that was like just like an air burp. Yeah.